Good morning. Today is Tuesday, March 19th. It is 6.37 a.m. Um, I finished my class. I have a 4 a.m. class. I'm on Central Standard Time. Um, that's a lot of the classes. I say goal setting, but it's so much more than that class. I've been taking this class. <clears throat> um, they're, they're in session, so each session is 21 days. So I started in session two. Did that for 21 days. I, we just finished session three on Sunday, and we started session four yesterday. So this day two for session four, but for me, it's day 44, okay? So my goal is to... Um, do this class. Actually, I, if I could do it the entire 2024, that's 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 what I want to do. But the initial goal was for at least 90 days. So, um, but I really, I really love this class. Um, it is changing my life. And if you know me, you know I'm not a morning person. I used to say I'm not a morning person. I've been up at 3:30. Um, on days that I lay down, lay back down or hit my alarm, 3.45 a.m., y'all, for 44 days. Um, up to prepare for that 4 a.m. class and ready, alert, um, active in the class, participation, not just there. You know, sometimes you can do something, you're just there but focused. So I don't even say that anymore that I'm not a morning person. I have become, you, you could be something and then you can make a decision to change that. Right. So I have become a morning person. I have become a person who realizes, um, that when you get up early enough, you have enough time to not only plan for the day, but also execute um, and work on those plans and work on those goals. And so that's what I've been doing for the last 44 days. And like I said, it is literally shifting my life. Okay. Today, I'm going to vlog for an hour or so. Um, I am doing a, the 30, a 31 day somewhat challenge, YouTube ch challenge to upload daily on my YouTube channel. It's the God Mommy channel. Um, I have 12 of the most amazing, beautiful God children. Range, eight, ranging from age four, ages four to 25. Jamira's 25. Um, and I also have a Gigi baby. She's three. She'll be four in August. I just like, what? Where has the time gone? So uh, I have consistently been uploading daily in March. I call it Motivational March. Um, some people call it March Madness to each his own. I don't claim madness, okay? I don't I don't need any more madness in my life. So mine is called Mo Motivational March. So I'm vlogging today. Like I said, today is March 19th, 2024. It's a Tuesday. Um, and I am working on a few things. So you'll see me looking down sometimes. I'm on the other phone printing out. I do um, SAT test prep. We just finished last, actually Sunday. We just finished Sunday and we had a time, the students had a timed SAT test. It took us about three hours, three hours and 15 minutes. And so the goal is <laughs> one of the goal was to print out their their test and score them and I, you know to give them their scores and everything yesterday i did not get to those so i had so much to do so i'm going to do make sure i do that today and so you may hear some printing in the background and that's cool so that's what i'm doing i'm also Working on paperwork for on, on boarding, I 
have been offered a position as an adjunct professor teaching online classes in psychology. I have a, bi I have a bachelor's in psychology from Spelman College, and I have um, a master's in school counseling, which is in the, in the psych field. So um, I'm excited about that. And I think tomorrow I'm going to, I have some content in my phone. I'm going to end up probably posting or I already have it. Actually, I have, I already have it on my, it's uploaded where I talked about my position um, as an online professor. So I'm doing onboarding for that. So it's a, it's a lot of paperwork that I need to do. Um, I've already started like background checks and all of that good stuff. And while I'm doing all of that, I want to talk about why March 19th is so significant and will forever be um, a very significant, important day in my life. Okay? So, I'm going to hit the print button first. Because although I, I think I do a decent job with multitasking, or I, I read somewhere in a book, that we don't really multitask, meaning we don't technically do several things at one time. We shift. Um, we what do they call it? Multi shift. So like, I'm talking to you, and notice for a minute I like went quiet because I'm trying to print something. So I'm shifting back and forth between tasks as opposed to using the term multitask. Yeah, it was real deep. I never thought of it like that, but. It stuck with me like you know we, we're not really multitasking we are we are shifting tasks um and there we're shifting multiple tasks at one time i thought it was a dope concept um i had never heard of it so i'd have to do more research on it though because i only read it in this one book and when something interest interests me like that i like to do research on it but anyway um so march 19th is a very significant day for me um, because nine years ago, nine in 2015, um, I lost one of one of my best friends, like my sister, you know, like um, for me, I have biological sisters. I have I, and let me tell you, I'm only saying it this way for the explanation um, because I don't like to say, oh, I have half sisters or, you know, this many sisters on my mom's side or this many on my dad's side. I don't like saying that because my sisters are my sisters. OK, so biologically, I have seven sisters. OK, seven. Right. It's eight of us um, with my mom. I have. You know, if you know me, you you know my sisters from my mom. So it's Marquita, Victoria, and Danielle, my mom. Um, side. And again, I'm only saying that for explanation reasons. In my heart, in my mind, in my life, all my sisters, all seven of them are my sisters. Period. And then for my dad's side, I have Topeka, I have Alexis, and I have twin sisters. Um, Brittany and Whitney, um, and I love them so much. I love all of my sisters so much. I'm so blessed um, to have really good relationships with my sisters, my sisters that I grew up with, you know, on a full time basis. Let's say that uh, me and Marquita are super close. We're 18 months apart, you know. So you know, we did, we we just did everything together growing up. Um, the good stuff, the bad stuff the good memories, the trauma, all of that. We just kind of like went through that together. So we're, we're literally 18 months apart. My birthday is in January. Hers in, is in August. And then I have my younger sisters with my mom. Um, they're, I'm 13 years older than Victoria and I'm 17 years older than Danielle. Okay. So they're baby, baby sisters. Um, and we, of course, grew up together, grew up in the same house. I went away to college, though, when Danielle was a year old. So, like, technically speaking, we didn't grow up in the same house because I was in college. Um, Danielle, not Danielle, but Victoria was about four. So, 
in a sense, like th those are my baby sisters. We didn't necessarily grow up in the same house. I had four years with, with, um, Victoria before I went to school. And so I, I went to Atlanta, I moved there. I would come and, you know, visit a course or come back home to my visit, come back home, like on breaks. And I think the first two summers I came home, but after that, I didn't, I stayed in Atlanta and worked or, you know, did what I did. And then after college, I stayed another additional three years. So, um, when I reached, when I came back to Chicago, goodness, Danielle was what, I came back to Chicago in 2021. See, when it come to math, Baby, I be out there, so <laughs> I'm gonna try to think without doing math. But when I came back, to, when I decided to move back in Chicago, to Chicago, I'm sorry. Um, Danny, Danny had to be eight, maybe. She was maybe seven or eight, so she was still little in elementary school. And Vicky was like 12. So she was like middle school. Okay, so. And I briefly lived with my mom. So that, you know, I think maybe not even, was it a year? And I was like, I got to get up out of here. So, <laughs> like, if you lived independently before um, and then moving back home, you know, and nothing's wrong with that. Nothing at all. Um, moving back home. You know, sometimes you have to, like, compromise, but it was just a little difficult. So, I'm like, we're going to be better when I leave. So, I ended up moving out. So, technically speaking with Victoria and Danielle, we did not grow up living together. But, you know, I uh, of course, I seen them more or, you know, more than my sisters on my dad's side because they live with my mom. And they would come to my house and, you know, stay with me. Or when I live with my other sister, Marquita, I live with her for a year or two before I got my own place, you know, they will be over there all the time. So, um, also with Victoria and Danny, I was at one time a youth pastor for my church. And so I was over the young people and they were a part of that. They were a part of that ministry. So I got a chance to spend a lot of time with them with, you know, through that ministry. And then God is so good. I was blessed to be their high school counselor both both of them um for vicky two years i came in her she was in her junior year but when i was hired at the school she was letting it for danny all four years and then uh, marquita my niece um brianna i was her high school counselor for about two years she was at my school and then she transferred her junior year to curie so that's my on my mom's side for my sisters on my dad's side um, we did not reconnect. We didn't grow up together at all. Um, there are a, count, a few times that I could count on my hand seeing them when I was young. I, I think I wrote in my book, I did a, I have a book and I, I think I mentioned that in another vlog. Um, in one of the chapters where I talked about my dad, I talked about my first time meeting Topeka, my sister Topeka. Um, and we're around the same age and the, the interaction that I remember, I, and I never asked her, like, I need to ask you, if you watching this pic, do you remember that? Do you remember my, my dad came and got me and my sister Marquita from my grandma's house and was like, are she going to take us to the store? And when we got in the car, um, Topeka was in the car. I still remember, like, I remember like it was yesterday. Um, she was in the car already, cute, chocolate, smiling, and um, her mom, Miss Deborah, was in the in the passenger seat, and then my dad hopped in on the driver's seat. Now I don't remember the conversation between um, um, her mom and my dad. I they was beefing, you know. I ain't TMI, and, and if you watching this, um, you know I love you, but I <laughs> so I'm not, you know, try to be funny, but. They was beefing about some I don't know, um, but I just remember her. I don't remember my little brother who who probably was here, or or she could have been pregnant. 
with him. Mike, I don't, I don't remember, but I do. That's one memory that I've always had in my head as a little girl. Like I have a sister. I have another sister. I didn't see Topeka again after that. And mind you, I was about five. Oh, I didn't see her again until my brother's funeral. We just did not um, spend any time together. Um, which sucks, you know, to each his own, you know, I'm not judging, but kids, done, they don't ask to be here. They don't ask to be put in situations um, in which you find yourself like growing up with no interaction with people that you share blood with, like... I don't, I don't know, but that's a whole nother, I'll do a whole nother vlog or video on that and probably have my sisters, um, in a video, you know, with me, Topeka, um, Alexis, actually, I'm talking about Mike, was Ale is Alexis older than Mike? No, it's Michael, then Alexis, um, okay, I'm talking about sisters, but I also had, um, three, well, technically speaking, four brothers, my mom lost a baby right before Danielle was born. So that's a whole nother. I'm not going to talk about that because that's not my experience. So I don't, I try my best not to tell other people's stories, but um, Joshua, he had a name and everything. Um, and that was, that was a little tough and, and traumatic. I'm sorry, traumatic for us. I was 16 when it happened. Um, and then I had a brother, Mike, whom funeral that's when we could reconnect it um at my brother's funeral and i you know me and my my sister marquita we did not have a relationship at the time or we didn't have a relationship with mike let's say that um we just didn't grow up together and you know you, you kind of used to what you used to but at his funeral like we both we just grieved so hard and I remember I was being in a car and um we we're just so emotional we we're on our way to like the barrier the bar the barrier and um it was silent but we both were like silently crying you know and I'm like a that you know we I'm I don't like to cry and I, I can get emotional just watching other people cry so even like seeing his mom and at the time, my dad um, was locked up, you know. Again, I'm not going to tell his story because that's his story, right? Um, but he did get a chance to see my brother, uh, his firstborn son in a casket. Um, I think the wake, the day before, uh, before, you know, nobody else could be in the room or, or yeah, at the funeral place he was able to see him um and say his last goodbyes so it was all of that um and the grief of you know seeing my my sisters there's so much pain and the sadness you know even though again I've always loved them even though we didn't grow up together like I just did you know I used to dream about oh you know like you know me and all of my sisters together and this i just i'm this type of person if you know me i got different friends from all walks of life when i used to like playing birthdays all my friends mix it i know a lot of people be like oh no this is a set of friends over here and then i be mixing friends here friends from college friends from when i was 12 friends from you know, um, my sister chicks over here. I just, I do that. Like everybody, let's everybody come together. I'm one of those. Um, so I've always loved them, but to see them is so much. When I did see them, Topeka after all those years, and then Alexis, Whitney, and Brittany, I didn't. I had never seen them. Like these, are my sisters. We share the same blood. I had never seen them, and I remember. Specifically seeing Brittany and how much she looks like my niece Brianna. Like, that I, it, that made me even emotional. Like, oh, my God. Um, and just our similarities in regards to how we look. You know, like, looking at them, like, just, I don't look. I, I digress. But anyway, we did not reconnect again until my brother's funeral. 
Um, and like I said, me and my sister Marquita was in a car and we were so emotional. Um, and we were driving to the um, burial. And I remember us having a conversation and we said, listen, we're adults now. We can't, you know, yep, you know, our parents couldn't figure it out how to get, you know, figure out the co-parenting thing. And they could not figure out as adults um, how to at least keep the keep us as siblings together. Um, like I said, I do have, what I said, four brothers. Two are, two are gone. Um, their bodies are gone. Their spirits are forever um, with us. Um, and then I have a brother, Malvin, and I have a brother, Aquilo. And I, be honest, I connected with Malvin, uh, you know, for years, like writing him. He was um, in prison for a long time, a long time. And I, as I'm talking to you on this on this vlog, there's a sense of, um, hmm. I don't know. He's he's been out um, for a few years, and I still haven't seen him. So I gotta make I gotta do right. So my brothers, I don't I love them, but I don't have no connect, connection with them. Like, I, just, I don't. Um, it's something that I need to really work on and be intentional about. They have children. Like my nieces and nephews, like even Mike, um, who passed, has a son and daughter who look just like him. Oh, my goodness. Um, and I, I, I don't know them, you know. So as I'm talking through this, whew, I'm not. this ain't even what the vlog is about. <laughs> I need to just get some stuff together. I'm in my own family. Um, but I remember us... Me and my sister Marquita had been in the car and we were just emotional and like you said, just grief and watching other people grieve and just the sadness. Um, and we realized like we didn't know Mike, even though he was, he was our brother, our little brother. Um, and that's what we were grieving. The fact that we didn't even get a chance to, to get to know him, you know? Um, and to hear my sister like Topeka and, and Alexis talk about, and even his mom, Deborah, talk about how he used to be like, I'm going to the West Side to find my sisters. Just to hear that, you know, um, and we heard it on different occasions by different people. It was the same. So we, I know it's true because they, they, they all said it in different settings um, and said it in a certain way. So like through pictures and videos and you know listening to his sisters my sisters talk about him that's how I got to know my brother who physically I would never and that's the hard place I would never have a physical sister brother relationship with him because I didn't get that opportunity so we were grieving that in a car and we said to ourselves we said listen we're adults now um we got sisters, you know, we got brothers, and that's how we ended up connecting with Malvin. He was locked up. We started writing. I got still I got your I still got your letters, my and you know, writing back and forth with them and you know, connecting that way and you know, trying to support um his release because the, the time that he did did it just didn't match up with it just was a lot. And so, you know, we ended up like Supporting Deborah and 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 um, the mother of his his son Malvin Jr. Uh, like really fight for him to be free. Like he served his time, you know. He served a fair sentence, and now it's it's you know, it's just too long. And so we connected that way. Like I said, Aquilo, my my little brother. I just you know, I don't have a relationship with him. At all, and it's just kind of like it just never connected for the the girls, the sisters. We made when we were at the repass and all that. Me and my sister Marquita made that decision in the car and said, "We're not leaving. We're not losing con um, contact with our sisters, with our family. With our, we're not doing that. So we're gonna be very intentional about that." Um, and then it also with our losing my brother, we. In a sense, reconnected with my dad. Um, so, 
that's a, that's another. I can tell the story, the the my story, my perspective on when I reconnected with my dad. From my perspective, I'm not gonna tell his story, but from my perspective, and like in another vlog, um, I said all that to say we've been very intentional. Topeka, Alexis, Brittany, and Winnie, very intentional about our relationship. Um, do we spend enough time together? No. Like we need to do a trip or something. Everybody like to travel, right? So we need to do a trip. We have done dinner and different, you know, or um, the kids like the kids' birthday parties. My nephews, Tim and um, Malik, have little ones. So we've been to like their birthday parties each year. Um, my nephew, my sister, Whitney, um, I have a nephew who's two. He had a party and I couldn't go, but sent gifts. But I think, did we do something? No, we I saw we saw Jace when it was time to eat. And Jace supposed to be, I, we supposed to be going to get Jace to, 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 to watch him. If you watching this with me, okay, I promise you. <laughs> I'm, a, but I'm figuring some things out right now, but yeah, he's two. And so I want a I want a strong relationship. Like he's he's my youngest biological um nephew. Okay? Yeah. Cause even I think Aquilo got kids, but it's their kids, his kids are not that young. I could be wrong. I have um just the one niece with Marquita on my mom's side, but I also have a niece, Amani. Um, we call her Baby Cakes. Topeka's daughter. We connected, and, and Amani. Let me. She's so. She's a sweet soul. Um, she's so sweet. She texts me randomly just to be like, "Hey, Auntie, I'm checking on you." So I feel like Amani's in school right now. Um, I feel like she's gonna. She's that niece for me. You know, that once she graduates from college and she moves back home, that we just, well, we're going we, we gonna to connect through shopping and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's Imani. Um, and I have, oh, I have so many other nieces and nephews. Alexis has three. She got, um, yeah, three. One, one little one that's about to graduate from high school. And two boys. Yeah. So I have three there. And then I believe Shamal, her son, Shamal has a son. So it's just like, I have, I just, we just need, we're, we're connected. You know, we do talk. We support each other. If, you know, they've come to my birthday parties or like when it's my, you know, I had a book and stuff. They support, they be like right there. Um, and then I, we, I support them. And like I said, when, you know, it's baby showers, it's, you know, kids' parties, but we just need to be a little more intentional, like spending like family, family time together. Because I want to have a relationship with all of my um, nieces and nephews. Like they will know that I'm their, their. Um, I'm just thinking that they're I'm their auntie. They know, they know, because they call me TT, or you know, or if they send me a message or something like that on social media or you know my phone, they know that. But just relationship. And I'm I'm sitting here and I'm thinking y'all and then I'm gonna move to literally to March nineteenth and my losing my best friend and my sister. I have five brothers. I don't know what y'all <laughs> like ex please excuse me. Five. Two, you know, are 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 physically gone. I got three here. Okay. Um, I have a little brother. Yeah. And that's and then again. I'm not gonna tell. I'm not telling my my um, daddy's um, story or anything like that. But I do have a, a little brother, Ty, and he's 11, right? It's Ty on 11, and he looks just like my daddy. So, and I'm gonna leave that at that. Um, I have got a chance to meet him. I spent some time with him. Actually, it's been a, a minute. I Spent some time with him maybe a year ago. Him and one of his little brothers. He's not, the little brother is not my dad's um, child, but we weren't going to take him and not take um, the little brother. So we took him to like a urban air. I don't know. They were jumping around and on stuff. You know, they, he was 10 at the time, got him some shoes, you know. We went to eat, just spending some time with him. My sister Marquita is a lot better. Um, with that, 
with him. So I, I need to do better. But he's 11 years old. And I'm going to put on my notes even now. I need to check in with him. Because I do have his number. So my sister, like I said, my sister Marquita, if I asked her, like, well, Quita, what's going on? She would know because she talked to him a lot. Um, so I have an 11-year-old brother, y'all. Okay? And I'm 45. Okay? <laughs> He's 11. 11. Okay? Probably on his way to be 12. I got to remember his birthday. Um, but, yeah. So five brothers, three living. <laughs> 